What is going on guys, today we are going to be doing a review on Prime Moment Ronaldinho. He's about 10 to 15 mil and one of my favourite all-time players. He's just, is a monster on the pitch. We loved, well I personally loved him when he played and I'm hoping this card is going to be the exact same. He's got such good stats when it comes to going forward, we just cannot argue with everything about him. He's, 10, he's about 10, 11 mil on bid. More than likely, you're looking at a good 14 mil on uh, buy now at this moment in time due to the fact that there's very, very little of this card on the market. So you're going to have to pay the premium. Otherwise, if you do get in a bidding war, I could imagine it will at least go up to 13 at the very, very least whilst this card is still freshly new. Um, but looking at the stats, you've got pretty much... I don't even want to like, literally just look at them. There's no point saying them out loud because all of them are above practically 90. Even his strength is 85, which for a player that predominantly is very agile, is very good as well. Um, looking at his others, 5, 4, star, high, low, he's the perfect player pretty much. Probably one of the best cams that you'll ever get in the game and more than likely could play striker very easily looking at his finishing and everything like that. So we're just going to jump straight into the game, see how he plays and uh, we're going to hopefully get a good good draft out of this one. So jumping into this match, we are coming up against... Oi, everyone's getting prime moment R9. He's got Kante, Zanetti, Campbell and Crespo in the moments. Zidane and Puyol as normal. Neuer, Quebec, Robertson and De Bruyne with team of the year Kante sitting there nicely. This this is going to be a very, very good match. Oh, R9 already trying the shots. Ronaldinho taking the ball past. Sets in Eusebio, who's going to get that goal. Already an assist for Ronaldinho. We're already 1 0 up. Let's go. Into Ronaldinho. He's going to play it. Lovely little dribble. I'm going to watch Eusebio there. R9, we're waiting for that movement from him. Just getting tackled. Dino's going to watch that. Campbell not quite getting the tackle on nine. Virgil definitely doing the work. Ronaldinho there. Disper getting the ball back. It's R9 to Eusebio. Rolls it into him again. Doesn't manage to get past his Campbell this time. Campbell watching that R9. Lovely little interception. Dino's on the ball. Back to Dino. Into Ronaldo. Oh, I wanted him to run away from him really. Ronaldinho dipping and weaving, getting himself his first goal. One assist, one goal for the first match. That's what we like to see. A little bit of dribbling, stops, gets that little wicked finesse. And I feel like we're going into the next round. So he has left. Beautiful work. So jumping into this match, we are now coming up against another pro moment R9. Honestly, we can never get away from this guy. He's got Barnes, Mbappe, Kante, Saul, Haji, Varane, Ramos, Alba, Semedo, and Testegen. Again, a very nice draft. Campbell taking it off, R9. Feeding it into Ronaldinho. Into R9. There we go. We're already 1 0 up. R9 is incredible. Genuinely the best striker I've used. Ronaldinho linking up very, very well. Eusebio putting in that absolute inch-perfect ball. Beautiful work from the team. Ronaldo, Ronaldo to Ronaldinho. Links in Ronaldo again. Can he outrun everybody? No, that's a great tackle from Semedo right there. Ball into Roy Costa. He's going to have a shot this time and he manages to get it on the near post. And I believe we are now going into the next match. Jumping into the next match, we are now coming up against Prime Eusebio, Prime Petit, Robbo, Van Dijk, Owen, Crespo, Wijnaldum, Cruz for Lorenzi, Digne and De Gea. It's not a bad draft, obviously. Prime, Prime moment Eusebio is very dangerous in himself, but it's no R9 this time, thank Christ. <laughs> Ronaldinho winning that back. Oh, and he scored that rebound. R10! Oh, R9! Ah, oh, oh, still both missing. Ronaldinho. Ducking and weaving. Manages to win that throw in still. 
So going into the oval review for Ronaldinho R10, the man, the myth, the absolute legend. He's a, like I say, he's a five-star skiller. And he, it's funny because I talk a lot about these most expensive players. Zidane, Eusebio, R9, um, obviously Ronaldinho. You've got a lot of them. And they are the most expensive players on this game. Currently on the Xbox whilst doing this video, um, R10 is actually completely extinct in the market. So practically 15 mil. Obviously, you can get him a little bit cheaper on bid. Uh, when they do go up, I don't believe that he does uh, go for max. People may buy him, but I, I think you can get him cheaper. I think I've seen him go for less than 15 mil before. But he's my player. So if I had 15 mil and I literally could spend it on any of them top players. R9 would be one of the best ones, obviously, mainly the goal scorer. But if I was going for the player that I want to have in my team the most, it has got to be this card. And this may lead to a little bit of bias on him, but he's one of the best, obviously. No, no, no disrespect to R9. R9, Eusebio, all of them. Regardless of who you pick up in that 10 mil mark, they are going to be very, very extraordinary players. It, it's just what it is. That, that That's the whole point of them being that expensive. You cannot argue that they are not one of the best players in the game. Granted, as Team of the Season does come out, um, and obviously as the game starts to wrap up um, later on in the few months coming, because realistically, what, we're in March next week, uh, next week, then what, you've got March, April, then you've got literally May, and at the end of April, Team of the Season's out. So we are literally about, what, eight weeks away from the almost, not the end of the game, but the end promo as such, the big the big finale promo, what we've been waiting for, and then we move over to FIFA 21, so we haven't got very long left, and that's what's annoying, the fact that these players are stupidly expensive. Um, I feel like they definitely need to do SBCs for them, just because that's the only way anybody's going to actually be able to have them. Unless you've got 15 mil right now and are just spamming the market waiting for one to come up, there is just no chance of you being able to get it. That being said, he's a fantastic player. Like, don't get me wrong. He is a wonderful, wonderful player. His dribbling is exquisite. Pace is good. Shooting's fantastic. The guy just, it, it reeks goals. That That is what I do like about him. And if you, for somehow, how managed to get 30 million coins and managed to get R9 and R10 in the same team, in a, in an actual foot champs team, then you are going to be balling out. The guy, the, the guys are nuts. They're, they're absolutely nuts. Just looking at everything of stat-wise, 97 composure, 96 agility, 93 balance. Everything screams that this card is just extraordinary. His dribbling is just fantastic. You can't get much better. I, I always compare our, um, Ronaldinho very much to Neymar. They're very similar in their style. They're very showboaty kind of players, and that's what I really like in football. And I think the ability that they have translates quite well onto FIFA. Granted, the skill moves this year isn't quite as what it was last year. Last year, it did have a very negative effect that you could just keep doing the same skill over and over again. So I understand where they're going with that. And I really do appreciate them trying to nerf that specific thing. You've got the, uh, I don't know what the, the skill is, but the ball faint to the left and you go forward. I can't remember what it's called. And obviously the, um, what is it? The, the, the spin, the reverse spin that flicks up and you can go for a shot or across. That works, obviously. Um, but, they, they basically nerfed them, but I feel like what happened is every skill move cannot be linked anymore, or it's harder. Don't, don't get me wrong, you still can. Um, R9 Ride definitely proves that every single stream that he's in, the skills that that guy comes up with is just, it's next level. And I'm sure there's plenty of others. I see a few of the lower uh, rated YouTubers and people on Twitter giving clips, and this player must be like a gem for them. I know Anon Rai really loves Ronaldinho and he's exactly the same as me. I absolutely love Ronaldinho. He's one of my favorite players out of like the premiership or out of um, people who played in the premiership back when I was growing up. And I only really got to see the end of him. Like I didn't really see much of Ronaldinho. So it was nice being able to see that end thing. And then obviously YouTube has pretty much every single goal that he's ever scored before. And He's just a fantastic player. He's got everything going for him. He's one of my favorites. Mainly the skill moves are just insane to use. And I like using them on FIFA. It adds a little bit of fun to the game. Very expensive fun, but fun in general. And I think just what he can do on the ball is absolutely exquisite. There's one goal in this that I think he, he goes for a flip-flap, gets around a defender, goes for a little shuffle, 
stops, puts it inside, finesses around a keeper. And that, that's what I love. I love goals like that. Not necessarily the pass across the goal. That That is what is kind of the game this year. Um, it's an easy goal. It's, it's very much guaranteed. But I like the skill goals if you can do it. Granted, I understand that you... Skill goals are going to be harder to score, so you have to learn them more. And I feel like I'm getting better. I'm still not quite amazing, amazing with skills. But using players like this, I've used Neymar all year round. Obviously a five-star, five-star. It, it's just helped me learn more and more about these skills. And hopefully take it forward to the next level in the next FIFA as well. And obviously the remaining time we have on FIFA 20. But Ronaldinho by no means is a 10 out of 10, 100%. The, the, the amount that you've got to pay, um, personally... If, if I didn't have it just spare, which I, I, I don't know who has money spare like that um, compared to like maybe like the pro traders, uh, people who can spend millions and well thousands and thousands of pounds, dollars on uh, FIFA points are not going to have that lying around. So a, a cheap alternative obviously is like Neymar. I, I personally love Neymar and would quite happily keep him in the squad for the rest of the year. Granted, love a team in a season version of him. Um, and there's players like that. Mbappe is not terrible at the skill moves, but I think he's more of an out right striker in my opinion um he's just a goal scorer genius Messi's quite good this year with it and I think all of the necessarily shorter players are quite good to, to kind of replace Ronaldinho which you can only do for so much like I'm talking like Mertens, Insigne the smaller players on the game that have got the skill moves still and really can possess the ball and, and do something magical so there is options to go away from Ronaldinho but I think at some point, I definitely want him in the team. I did it last year after I packed 99 Messi. I think I went out and bought 91 Cam Ronaldinho, which again, I probably will do at some point just to play with him um, as I've only played with his prime moment on drafts. I haven't played with any of them, any version of him in my actual squad. So that's something that I definitely want to do in the next coming weeks um, or even maybe in the middle end of March. That'll be something to look forward to and hopefully get a video out on him as well. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a player review, but could be a squad builder maybe explore some different options that we're going for with uh, with youtube in general um, as we now have it 5k i do want to go and do a special video which i am in the in the mix of planning and hopefully we'll be out on the weekend if not late to uh, well, i think about early next week i want to say if we can get it going but R10, amazing player, absolutely love everything that he can do. Um, he is worth it if you've got the coins. I just think if you've got 15 mil and don't have an absolute stacked team, I probably would go against it because it's one player for 15 mil. That is absolutely, <laughs> it's, it's just an extreme price for one player if you haven't got almost the best positions in every position in your team. If you don't, then I would 100% mix the players up, a million per player, a million and a half per player, that, that would be much more beneficial to you than going out and just buying one player unless like I say you have got a god squad already So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace